Bum 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 <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, you're going, going to hell. Going to see him in show, you're going to hell for that. Yeah. Uh, no, it's good to see him on the shows all man, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Thanks, that like, Sorry, Gary. Yeah. I mean? yeah, whatever, mate. <laughs> I don't know what you said. It's, it's it's Ronnie it now, Gas. Just embrace it, man. <laughs> 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 I liked it, John. I liked it. <laughs> If you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing in yeah. terms of like on the plan, etc., there's nothing to stress about at all. And yeah. the only time people really should be stressing is when they're not doing what they're meant to be. Yeah, until so, the lights go on. Just do everything you can and there's literally nothing. Everything you're supposed to be doing is nothing you should be stressed about, really. But you, but you will. Nah, I don't. <laughs> You, don't well, actually, you haven't well, done a show in about actually... seven years. I haven't done a show. You're talking about. When I used to, you know, before when I used I was to do a show when I was nine, fuck off. Yeah, no, I'll take that back, man. Jack's contract says he has to compete next year. So, oh. hold the line, caller. We'll be bringing this one back up when Bring Jack's in. three weeks out and he's. <laughs> I can't come on. I'm fucking Not joking. everything I could. I'm just so calm. <laughs> There's no pressure at all. I've only been hyping this since 95, and I wasn't <laughs> even born. <laughs> found, yeah. um, I found your posts quite funny, that you were going to have, like, some shit food the day after, but, like, Alice was a day ahead of you, so she was yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm over that. <laughs> Mate, she, to be fair, that was my dig at her, because I knew, because she was, like, doing, like, check-ins or whatever, like, doing her own shit, as long as you're all right, Alice, you fuck. <laughs> and then um, all I want, all I wanted over prep was see, I get really weird cream. All I wanted was a shit ham and cheese sandwich, which I had on the way back, um, and I wanted to go for a for a fry up like the next day, but not like a nice one, like no sourdough or fucking fancy fucking smoked beans or anything. Oh, a shit one. Do you know what I mean? Like, those Sainsburys have got like a calf down the road. I wanted a shit fry up. Didn't want a good one. I wanted a shit one. Do you know what I mean? Like. Dude. You know, when the it looks like the fryer's never been cleaned, like one of those. <laughs> she, she couldn't be bothered. So, yeah, I was fuming, to be fair, because that's all I really wanted. So I didn't do that, and I just ate diet food the day after the show, because I just couldn't be bothered. Um, but I got, I got to get home and see the dogs, and that I was happier about that. Um, and, like, yeah, Ron had been ill. He had kennel cough. Um, and so, yeah, he was, like, pretty ill. So when I was away... Um, that was kind of playing on my mind, poor little bugger. Because he's got like the smashed face, like he doesn't breathe well. So then when he's got like a cough, he sounds like a like he's fucking been working in an asbestos environment his whole life. Yeah. Um, so yeah, yeah, it was all right. Yeah. So, what, a, what a weekend for bodybuilding, lots. Ooh. Ooh. Before we move on Ooh. too quickly, and I know you don't really want to pry on the whole situation, pal, but um, as we all know, you uh, you improved. Um, your placings and got yourself up into that fourth spot. Yeah. Um, you... What's the general summary of, of the show, pal? Well, like, well, the show itself was amazing. Um, and, um, you know, whatever people say about two bros, and, you know, I'm not really with them, you know, with the Gypsy Camp Classic. I thought that was a bit, a bit weird. Um, but it was impeccably run. It really was. I turned up at the hotel. I checked in within 15, 20 minutes. I fucked off, um, you know, and the, and the show order, although some of it was a little bit unclear about body when bodybuilding was on because I thought bodybuilding meant open bodybuilding when actually it was just starting from. So it was a couple of hours behind. Um, but I thought for a show that size, it was amazingly run, which made it. I enjoyed that show more than any other show that I've ever done. Um, and part of it was that, but mostly it was because of the because of the people, the other competitors. It was really supportive environment. We all hung out, and especially Josh Law. Me, me and Josh are mates anyway. But I seen him in tanning, and we were talking about you know we're going to train like when the show's over, and like we're getting excited about you know whatever was happening next, whatever the outcome. And 
you know, and that 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 was great. And and seeing him, he also gave me a heads up about the tanning because I'd already gone for tanning. It's nine forty five. Now I didn't read it. Said PM. So there I was at nine forty five AM. Um, and they're like, yeah, you're 12 hours early. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. So, um, and then, um, I thought it was a different time and, and Josh gave me the heads up about when the time. So that's what made it really enjoyable was being part of that. And, you know, everyone else was backstage, Nathan and, um, and Andy and Greg and that, and we were just like, just normal banter. It was enjoyable. It was, it was a thoroughly enjoyable experience. So yeah, that was, that was cool. Um, I mean, I said to everyone about the, the graftism show, it was a warm up. So it wasn't a surprise to me that I did better because because that was the plan. Um, I suppose there was just the anxiety of doing that shit. Um, and maybe kind of I had an arrogance about that, thinking I wouldn't have done that shit. Um, so there was a, an anxiety of like, oh, maybe I am really shit. <laughs> and so it wasn't a surprise that I jumped up. Um, you know, it was a surprise to to push Josh out. Um, but I never argue with the judges when they mark me down. So why would I argue with the judges when they mark me up? You know, I'm never one to, to talk bitterness. It can't be wrong. It is what it is. So I'm not, I'm not going to spin angles on, on what happened. The outcome's the outcome. And I wouldn't have argued it any other way. If it had happened the other way around, I wouldn't have felt about it any other way. It was clear the mass monsters weren't going to take the top spots because, that's that's not what that's not what happened. Um, my only regret was that I fucked my back up on Friday because I was watching Alice and walking around. It was a long day, and um, I got a nerve issue in my back, and my control of my midsection was poor, even compared to the grafters. And when I was in worse shape, my midsection control there was really good, and so I was upset about that because I'd worked so hard on the control. I was literally in the toilets with Amph. I can't fucking feel it. Like literally about to fucking leave because I was so gutted about uh, gutted about it. And he was like, look, you know, with the ab shot, I was doing the ab shot. I was like, I can't feel it. I can't feel it. And he was like, just hit it and move. So you'll see if you see my <laughs> ab and thigh, I hit it for a split second and then I move off to the side yeah. um, to try and combat that. But yeah, my, it, yeah, for me, as a because this is a personal thing. It is a personal thing. Um, I want to be able to, present um what was a improved physique from last season by a lot as far as i'm concerned um and i wasn't able to do that 100 so that was upsetting for me i'm not saying it would have made any difference but just for me that was upsetting because i could feel that it wasn't going to be there and i just gave what i could and and it was okay <laughs> so what where do you think you went wrong? What's the what's when you've digested it? If you've not, apart from obviously the the the, the midsection thing that was like a a back issue a day before. Outside of that, what do you think you did or didn't do um, that would have given you the result you were hoping for? Not necessarily on stage, but in terms of making those improvements. I think I think if I like just from a personal perspective, if I'd managed to hold in the midsection, whatever the placement would have done, I would have been happy because okay. at that snapshot, that fo you know, that one second at that point, um, uh, you know, presenting present, you know, the presentation of a physique that I thought was probably my best yet, um, you know, that would have been enough enough for me. Do you know what I mean? I'm not like I said, I'm not saying it would have made any difference. I thought I was in condition and I was full. Um, and, and yeah, I thought it was all right, to be yeah. honest. And, and the, the one win from it is I'm not done yet from the improvements from last competitive season to this one, I'm not burning out. I'm not going backwards. I'm not stagnating. So it means that I can carry on doing the thing that I love. And, and that was something that I was worried about. And, um, so that realization was a boost for someone of, of my age. I'm not done yet. Is there was there any sort of uh, like immediate takeaways? Are you like off season wise now? Are you going to be less inclined to push so heavy, or are you going to be pushing heavy again? Well, How... the only I mean, I was talking to Amph. I think my back was down, um, and I think my back was down because I couldn't lift heavy because of an injury, um, and so I think actually probably going back to 
doing some balls to the walls heavy fucking shit again especially for back it seems to respond better now i don't know it's because my legs were up and it made it look down a bit but yeah i think maybe with the legs being more balanced i can now grow everything together so even if i stalled other body parts at least i can now attack everything together and hope that like there's a bit more balance i didn't i don't think looking at like obviously i've got no carbs uh but um I didn't think there was really like a a weakness anymore, really, not anything as blaring as it had been. So for that, I'm happy. Um, yeah. yeah, going forward, just, yeah, probably my goal is to be able to train four days a week. So that's my, that's my first goal, not for now, because obviously like, I've just done a show, but to be able to align my recovery enough so I could train four days a week um, is a goal for me that I've set. Um, and I'm not saying that it will be realised, but just really taking the steps to to rest and recover so that I can do that, I think, would be fantastic. Just to, be just to clarify for those listening or watching, that's actually more days for Dan. With most people, that would mean less days. <laughs> yeah, that would mean less days. Yeah, I've trained three days a week since 2018, um, and it's done me it's done me really well. Um, but that's based on like my lifestyle, my recovery won't allow anything higher. Um, but I'd really like to explore the possibilities of being able to do that. Um, I have an active rest day where I do abs and calves. Um, so I'm in the gym four days a week, but yeah, I'm only doing training. I'm only training stuff. Um, yeah. I, I mean, I was doing everything every nine days for a while. Um, you know, with, before the universe, I did that. And then for a little bit of the tack at the beginning of the, um, of the prep season whilst I could still grow a little bit. Um, I did legs, push, pull, legs, uh, put legs, push, legs, pull. Yeah. Um, so legs were hit every five days and upper body was hit every nine days. I don't know whether it really made a difference because it was in prep, but yeah, I don't train much, but when I do train, I fuck shit up. I'm not, I'm not doing pump stuff. I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm going in full high intensity training. And, and so I think, I could train four days easily if I were to adapt my training, but apart from the fact that I wouldn't like, hello boys, my dog is all right, hello. Um, yeah, so I could change my training, but I'm not going to do that because I love training. I think uh, hit training, I think it works. I resonate with it. It makes me excited. It makes me think of bag, baggy trousers and check shirts and bandanas, and that just gives me a wet vagina. I just I can't explain it. <laughs> so I'd rather train, I'd rather train three days a week hard then train four days a week a bit shit, and I think the results would be better from three days, if I'm honest. And I think that could be applied to most people. I mean, not beginners, because you have to mentally build up hit training. I think that that's a mental training rather than a physical training to to push that envelope. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's my goal. Um, try and train more, try and get bigger, not play anyone else's game. You know, I can't play... If you look at the winners, you know vacuums you know great posing and stuff like that like my posing's got better but i'm never gonna be that am i so i just play to my strengths more get bigger nastier i can't get much paler unless my skin <laughs> translucent <laughs> yeah unless my skin actually fell off so so yeah it's not really anything that exciting really just do that but more and and hopefully bring me to a level where it's me <laughs> Firstly, what's happening, Jack? Word up, Jack. Sorry, that, sorry, that, sorry. Secondly, without diverting any attention to Jack because he's late and he's a prick. Um, what's 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 next, Dan? What's the um, what's the goals, Mal? In terms of, obviously, I know you're going to go back and make improvements and what have you. So knowing you, it'll it'll be somewhere in the future. But I don't know if you've decided. Well, hold on. I'm getting married in June. <laughs> Don't, don't forget definitely June. Um, so yeah, there's actually like a lot of like I need do actually need to like put some attention in, in, into that, and so does Alice. It's hard. It's hard coming off um, prep together because we're like two little lost little bunions just walking around. Like, should we? Do more cardio? Yeah? Should the be, like, <laughs> you know, you're actually talking to each other yet? Yeah? No, no, nothing like that. 
Yeah, but that was uh, the, that's the thing before the shows were the excuse, but now, like, yeah, now yeah. you've like you've got no excuse to not talk. Yeah. No, like we, we went out like and had had um, sushi. I accidentally spent about one hundred and twenty quid on sushi. Actually, um, <laughs> um, yeah, it's, but it's hard because you feel lost, don't you? After you do a show, you've had your blinkers on, although you've been doing your other stuff, work and stuff, and I haven't let any of that slip. It's still been really good because I've just put the other hat on. Um, my mental like state was still very focused on this thing and 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 for ellis as well and then having that thing gone is a very strange time that you know for all of you who have competed will know yeah there's that kind of emptiness feeling and and having a partner that did it in exactly the same time yeah there's quite a lot of strange energy in the household but the the dogs really help <laughs> You know, um, but yeah, it's, it is weird having that focus removed and then also from your partner at exactly the same time where he's never done it at the same time. I think in future we'd prep at similar times and maybe not do the same show so that we could really concentrate on each other for that weekend. Like Even though it's, a, it's a, maybe a different day, I think that that might be benefit, you know, like uh, going and watching Ellis and stuff. Like I hurt my back. I should just be lying down at that point and stuff. And you know, uh, having something a couple of days, you know, a couple of weeks apart or something. So essentially, it was Ellis's fault. Yeah, it was Ellis's yeah. fault. Okay. Um, so talking about Ellis, um, so how does she feel? How what's what's the, the the general consensus? Because she's gone from being the poster girl of what what they were looking for, to to mm -hmm. them saying, no, by the way, this is not what we're looking for. So what's the? Yeah, I don't really. I mean, the 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 girl who won won the um the overall at the Graftism, so that was obviously like you know she was very big, um, and um, Ellis has got great you know great quads, great midsection, uh, her upper body is balanced. She's just got a, like, you know, she knows what she needs to do. There's no point arguing about the the situation that happened. I thought second place was a little bit soft. I I, I but I'm not a judge, and I, it's a new thing. I found it quite hard to. At the graphism as well, see the the correlation from first to third. I didn't see how Ellis wasn't in the middle of the things because if there was a progression, so it didn't really make that much sense sense to me. Especially, I mean, I prepped the overall winner for the graphism, and and it didn't seem. Yeah, it's just um, a bit strange. She knows what she wants to do. She wants to just get ma like a, a massive badunk, and we know how to do it. She's. Surgery, you know, surgery. Surg surgery. <laughs> We're definitely not doing that. <laughs> but it's it, it's her second season, and one of the things that she said to me was, "You know, I did really, really well in the first one. Here's my wake up call. You know, and I have to just do me until it doesn't matter what they think they're looking for. You know, so she's does it does it give you a little bit of satisfaction? You're no longer the shittest bodybuilder in the house. <laughs> well, technically, she came third. So. Oh yeah, she beat you. Sorry, Bart. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, uh, still the shittest. Still the shittest. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been it's it's been um, yeah difficult, um, but not horrible. I mean, the prep prep, like I've always said, only really gets me about four weeks out. So before the graftism, it was more of an anxiety thing. I was stressed out about it, um, but I wasn't like dying. Um, and then the kind of time between two shows is when it really, that last month. But, you know, I was able to still do everything that I do and teach and, and like, well, you know, I wasn't having the points where the students were like, oh, Dan's miserable. You, yeah, you know, you were definitely a lot touchy, touchier. The episodes we did, <laughs> quite funny, you were getting, you were getting roped in a little bit too quickly. Well, I thought, like, that a week <laughs> out was adventurous, <laughs> And then you made me do the other one a week out with Jimmy Tonk. Uh, yeah that was hard that one was hard yeah like a, yeah. a week out was like oh, and the, the the pressure was kind of more on i knew that i was going to do better than grafters and I, I knew that um but obviously like the the pressure was was definitely on and, and yeah i liked how everyone wrote me off well, it was where i enjoy being and then i'm like oh no he's he's still all right you know, well, to be fair, Dan, I think you did pull it out of the bag, really, because even in yourself, you were you were very pissed off, weren't you? Um, good to see you smiling now, because yeah, I like even I wasn't sure if you could put. I always have faith in you, but <laughs> I um, I I knew it was. I knew I was four weeks out. I knew we were doing it as four weeks out mentally. I wasn't really prepared for what that meant. 
and, and so so yeah i realized that i had an ego but it, it's, it's two distinctly different feelings though like i've done shows and had a slap in the face and i've done shows and won them and and got the the feeling of euphoria that you get from all of that good stuff and for you obviously your bodybuilding career has pretty much done that so it's like it was there was like zero 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 bang winning overalls and 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 you know smashing it so i guess there must have been a bit of a, a taste of of taking you back to those days a little bit mm. at the graftism a little confidence stutter yeah i mean i knew i wasn't it was just because the plan didn't work the plan was like, okay, if I'm going to be four weeks out, let's be really full. But I'd just been to the point where, you know, when you're just about to get in proper shape and when you feed it, the weight drops. So I tried to carve up like right at the wrong ta- time and just ended up with like a 12 pound drop instead. So the timing was fucked. Like, so it was, it, it just didn't work in, in any way. I wasn't full. I was flat. I wasn't in shape because I was never going to be in shape. And I just looked like a grandma's elbow. And, um... Well, I think in in you know sort of in hindsight, if if it's a warm up show, you probably shouldn't deplete in carbs, should you? You should just roll in. I don't. I didn't deplete. I was my life was depleted. The thing is, when I'm all oh, right, okay, you're I at that stage. I don't deplete. Yeah. I don't like even when I'm doing depletion. I don't do depletion. I just am depleting. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> like my body just goes, oh, okay, you're doing that. <laughs> Like I don't do like special depletion diets and all that sort of stuff. I'm all like that's just what. Do you, do you know what I mean? And then I have to play balancing games with what Amph does with feeding me shit loads of food to kind of level me out. Like so, I don't do depletions um, because my body, when it's in that mode, just does it anyway. I'm not so. I didn't deplete on purpose. I just went cool. Like I was flattening out anyway. Let's try and load it. Opposite thing happened. <laughs> Um, and it was just so that's what I was annoyed about. I wanted to test something out, and I didn't even get the fe- like the didn't even get like the feedback of that. So that was what was annoying. And then and then, um, but I knew, yeah, and uh, yeah, I've never done that. I've never done that. If I've come and lost, which I've lost loads, if I've if I've lost, I've still lost that look. Looking back, being like I did everything. No, no, I purposefully didn't do everything. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was a weird feeling. I've never done that. Um, and I'm not entirely sure I'd do it again, to be honest. Um, <laughs> but but I knew I was going to do different. I knew it was going to. I I knew I was going to do better, um, because I because I can. Um, yeah. On a positive note, not I guess Greg backed up his bullshit, which um, which was quite nice to see. Yeah. Although I think he was talking um, tall orders when we had him on the podcast, but. I mean, we can't really give him shit anymore because no. he did the fuck up. Yeah, he did it. He 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 did it. He was he was definitely in. Um, you know, I mean, I yeah, I mean, I'm I like freaks. People look at uh, um people like Andy and Greg and think that's really nice physique. Lots of they say things like flow and and posing and 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 like vacuums. And no good. one says that about me. Like. <laughs> No one says, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that's what say people about would say about Josh. We're the kind of the, the mass guys. Um, so it's, yeah, for me, I, I like to see mass. I can appreciate they've got, they both got good physiques, but they're not like massive, massive. No. Um, and that's what, what they were, what they were going for. But it was in condition, like. We well, had fucking massive glutes. The best ass I've ever seen. It's fucking completely insane from the back. Like, in re- when, in when real life as well, stage, it looked like he was fat. Like it looked <laughs> yeah. like he was like, fat, fat. It wasn't. It wasn't. The, the live was stream. The live stream. The live stream made everyone look four weeks yeah. out, and I can assure you, we were all in shape. Um, and yeah, that ass is is pure striated yeah. horribleness. It's fantastic. Uh, <laughs> it really is. Yeah. When I was talking to him backstage, he was like, "Yeah, I'm just going to do more of that." And I was thinking, "I think that's enough." <laughs> yeah, well, he'd just be a walk. Ass. Yeah, no a walking ass. ass. That's all he'd be I if he does it. You can put that on the back burner. <laughs> what must that look like in off season? Yeah, that's true. Jeans like, must not be happening at all. I don't think he gets that out of shape though, does he? No, he probably can't do. I don't think he gets that out of shape. Is, uh, slain his DMs, Jack. So what? Yeah, get an ass pick. 
Ask, no, ask him for his glute pump exercise. How, how deep you in your season? Can I pop him with you? I mean, like, I think he just, he, he just picks really heavy shit up off the floor. Yeah. yeah. That's like what, you know, what it looks like. Well, I, that's I what he uh, was doing when he was with Jordan. Is he still going to be doing that with Yeah, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think his training's changed. I think he's probably still in charge of uh, training. I have my own views on why that happened, but I have no idea why that happened. Ooh, do you want to share those views? No, I think it's just a peaking thing, wasn't it? From what I, maybe it wasn't, but I don't think he liked the way Jordan peaked him, so he went with. And to be fair, Jamie, from his sort of, um, from what we see from his clients, he gets his clients pretty bang on most of the time in terms mm. of peaking. So that's what I think. That was one of the reasons, anyway. I think. Yeah, uh, I mean, I thought it was a strange. A strange decision, especially like obviously there was a lot of a lot of Jordan bumming going on. Um, yeah, one week and then the next, not. Yeah. Well, I mean, like like he said, like he, you, you have to look after number one in this thing. Yeah, and if he wasn't comfortable doing it, then his mind wouldn't have been in it. He, he needed to. You have to look after number one. There's no payoff here. There's no fucking payoff, like other than doing the best that you can. So, if moving coaches or peaking with someone else you think that's going to do it, then there can be no love lost. You just got to fucking do it. You have to, you know, you can't, you can't like, you can't be worried about hurting people's feelings. It's or the same with like Joe think. Hall, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that, that didn't quite work out, did it? Well, oh, see, to be see, fair, it, I think it, the period where he coached himself for like, Five six weeks. I think that is what messed him up, really, because he was. No, so no, no. If you look, him. if you look, he basically said he went with Phil, but didn't tell anyone. So I think he'd gone straight to Phil, uh, and he know. kept it quiet. I don't know about that. Well, that's no, what he I said in his. Know. He said in his thing, he hadn't told anyone. He's been like it for however long, for a couple of weeks. He said. Oh, he Jamie that. had been had been dieting since January. Whew. I mean, I per I personally think that Jamie's like, I'm just going to come and bring pure hideous mass and I like that but I just don't like that so much plus um, it's, it's different isn't it for him to have pure unadulterated, unadulterated bloody mass he'd need to be like 320 on stage or yeah. something still look fucking massive I still, oh, can't well, he, help. He I still can't help but look at him and be like what the fuck is that the, <laughs> I, don't, it, I don't know I'm kind, of, I'm kind of into that but he'd been on prep for so long and he'd had a lot of shit going on um, I don't. I don't. Know. I mean, do you have to? I guess if you're offered it, you have to do it. Like the the, um, um, the commentators said it best. I think when they were doing the live stream, they said that because he's such a different shape, they don't really know what to do with him. Yeah. So they they just kind of leave him out. But he said one day they're gonna not know what to do with him, and he'll they'll he'll win a show because of that. You know, and and hopefully that'll be the case. I think he needs to get somewhere in between last year's condition and this year's fullness. I mean, it's all tri trial and error, I guess. So as long as he's taken the the information from that, and do you know what I mean? He's not done. Oh, of course not. He's not fucking done. I spoke. I mean, I spoke to him afterwards, and I said that I like, like I like the full thing, playing to his strength, being massive. But I think you're right. They just look at him and go, "What the fuck is that?" And like it's fucking nuts. Where does that go? Um, he's a judge's nightmare, surely. <laughs> the yeah. judges are like, okay, these guys are all kind of what the fuck is that? How do we judge that? You know, and I, well, I just, that's why I wouldn't be a good judge. I'd be like, he's enormous, win, give, <laughs> give him everything. <laughs> that's yeah. why I'm not a judge. Um, cause yeah, I, I don't, I don't, wouldn't know where to, where to put that. Um, yeah, it's ridiculous. Is ridiculous. Well, I still think that fucking that front latch shot is still just yes, <laughs> well, best right. in, best in the world. Um, right. But um, okay, so sticking on the same same show, we were talking between prejudge and the evening show, and I said that we thought. Well, I said that I thought that Samson was ahead, and you agreed. Yeah. Um, and the scorecards seemed to reflect that he was ahead in prejudge, and then lost it by. He was ahead by a point, and then he lost it by. Two points or three points in the in the yeah. in the in the finals. It's so hard to see from what from the information that's been given. I mean, some of the shots that you thought pulled um, pulled Nathan's way, I thought that Samson had 
like back double. I thought nah. Samson, I thought Samson had it. Do you? I, yeah. think, so I think Samson's well down from the back. Like compared I mean, to I don't know whether it was how they were filming it or whatever, but there was one where they were clocking it in next to each other and they kept clocking it. And I was like, ooh, ooh, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Nathan's legs looked a bit down. Yeah, that was what I was noticing, really. And he was he has to do that thing where he, he like, bows them out to get them to activate. And then there's, you know, there's the thickness in the middle is not quite there. There's um, a lot, a lot of ad, a lot of adductor. I mean, I, the the thing is, this live stream was wank, wank. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I don't really, I don't really know. I don't think anyone would have. I mean, it would have been a shocker for Samson to win, but I don't think it would have been a big argument as to why that would happen. It was yeah, I don't, I don't think close. anyone would have had any complaints about it. To be yeah, honest, it was but fucking close. It was very yeah. close. Um, um, like so. I was, I was fairly close to the stage, and. It was like a very good battle between the two of them. Like, I don't think anyone would have had an issue with Samson, especially. I know the routines don't count for anything, but especially after his routine, like mm. that literally lit everyone up. For the yeah, yeah. It was, it was good. And when you see it as well, the the just the presentation of everyone and the feel of the stage from the difference between the amateur and the pro is like, you know, and like hand it to like Cuba and everyone like handled it like a fucking pro. Like it is different. Like everyone's yeah. nailed every element of that, and it's it is you can see. Oh, okay, they're the pros. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It is it is definitely definitely different. Yeah. Um, but I was just pissed off with the live stream. <clears throat> yeah, no, he wasn't the best, and he was a nightmare to watch because he kept kicking you out and oh, God yeah. knows what. So, um, but yeah, in terms of um, Samson. Um, and and Nathan, I just think it's a shame that neither of them were at the Olympia, really, because yeah. I think you know they both would have could have could have done something. They both look great yeah, at the yeah, Arnold. Interesting, definitely. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that ties us into the Olympia through our dear friend Hollingshead. Yes. How did he manage to get all this? You know, sort of finalise to get all the way to compete then, considering if Nathan couldn't get over it. Well, because he was he got it. He's been there already. Over so. He went oh, right. to Dubai, didn't he? Ah, so, right, I see. Or he, he was able to fly from there over. Let, let's let's not forget Nathan has a criminal record, so I'm sure there's a different kind of Esther or visa that he would need to get to get into the states. Yeah, but I think Nathan did say that he had a choice. Basically, he could either do the Arnold here or do the Olympia. I don't think that's true, see? Yeah, I know, I know. That's what know he that. says, but I th in said. my mind, I think he's been declined the the access and he said it that way. But, I mean, someone... Who was it? I think it was his coach. Who's his coach? Um, Oscar. Yeah, he did, like, a, an interview and he basically said that they can't get into the USA. Um, yeah. I, well, I mean, we don't really know. It's all speculation. Um, yeah. But, again, it's a shame. Specifically... Uh, Nathan's shape, as we mentioned when we were talking in the WhatsApp group, I think that would have stood out, stood out like a sore thumb, and it, could have gone in the his, top five. Yeah, in in his way, I think, um, given you know the shapes of people who were there, there was a lot of mass and not a lot of um, guys with tiny waists and stuff. And I think, given the big press thing on trying to stop people from taking massive amounts of diuretics and they're trying to stop people from hammering too hard on condition and size. I think his shape and symmetry and stuff would have would have done well there. Um, okay, so oh, where are we? I got the WhatsApp group, lads. I got it up. So that actually, ironic, that's the first photo. Let me just share the screen. Careful now, Johnny. I know, we've got to be careful that we don't share all our... Oh, bitchiness. There's our T-shirt on Harling's head at the Meet the Athletes. Yeah, such we a shame the real ours, ours is on the back. <laughs> <laughs> I quoted that in my story. <laughs> well, the, the thing is, though, he never told me that he actually... Re I said to message him, I said, let me know when you get it. And uh, he never told me when he got it, so I just thought, oh, whatever. I saw him wearing it like on the way out to America, and I messaged him, and he said, oh, I'll get a photo for you next time. Um, but obviously, I'm not going to message him whilst he's competing at the yeah. Olympia. Yeah, do me a favour, pal. Before okay, you, wait, mate. <laughs> well, do you wear that top again? Just yeah. 
I got the biggest show of my life growing up. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, whose leg's that? Oh, damn. Uh, we were, damn. We've already yeah. given, given him... Um, uh, Celine, like, Celine Dion's. <laughs> we've, already, <laughs> we've already given him his time. He can bugger off. Yeah, I've had enough. Oh, this is, this is where Geraint made a funny. Oh my god. Yeah, it's you're going to hell. You're going to hell for that. Yeah. No, uh, it's good to see him on the shows all man, to be fair. Oh, yeah. Hell, like, I get it. Yeah, whatever, mate. <laughs> I don't know what you said. Right. So I mean I just sent some pictures of some of my favourites and they're not necessarily the ones that won. Um but I just think she's great. I think yeah. she's so young. Um yeah, and, um, twenty what, twenty three? Twenty two, I think. But yeah. either way, she's outrageous. No, it's Natalia. Fuck off, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's listening to I like that. So um, she came second, yeah, to Sarah mm, Vargas. Yeah. And I don't know, I just love Dijon. I just think she it's like looks like this tiny, tiny person and then somehow just expands. I think she's one to watch in the future, for sure. Um, I don't know, I think her shape's unreal. This was completely insane. It's it's, it's mad good. how she remains fairly feminine with the yeah. amount of muscle she has. It's absolutely ridiculous. Did you just say feminine? Well, Johnny, look at her facially compared to everyone else. Let's be honest. I don't yeah, know if that she's, quality yeah, is good yeah. Come on, that's not that's not bad. No, I know, but she hasn't got a neck. You don't need a neck. What do you need a neck for? <laughs> I mean, it is, it is pleasing to look at, isn't it, to be fair? Really? Yeah, yeah, it is. Like, it's did you um, did you see the women's pose down? Did you see that? <laughs> yeah, they were dancing. They all started having like a, they were dancing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again, another one of my favourites, who's twenty six. Oh. Alice just told me is Cass Wellness, completely marked down for being way too big and conditioned. Um, but I can't just help but think. Fucking hell. <laughs> Man, them fucking the sweets like the just, sweets yeah. fucking nuts. Are going back, <laughs> it's crazy, like. No, that's what I can get on board with, boys. Yeah. Like just that oh she's just fucking massive. Like <laughs> like yeah, they definitely didn't let her win because she was too big and conditioned, but I don't know, I'm into it. <laughs> fucking nuts. I'm into it too. <laughs> well, I, I'm into it on, on, on a different level for Dan's this. Professional here, John. I'm, I'm into it on all, all the levels. <laughs> she no, could de de definitely suffocate me. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and then, obviously, the second and first place. The, the first place who I can't actually say a name right, and they were all saying it wrong. Franciel. Franciel, not Francel, apparently. Oh. Um, on the right, she beat Angela. Um, yeah, I don't know. I like wellness. Alice is into it. She made me watch about nine times. Yurishna, the other favourite, didn't do particularly well. She came on with a weird bikini with no glaze on. Yeah. And then came in, forward, came in like later with like a haircut and a different colour. It was just a bit weird. Um, <laughs> she, was, so. she was cocky as hell in the Meet the Athletes thing as well. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah but I, think, I think as well, it's a, it's a barrier thing. Everyone's like, oh, everyone's so rude. And it's like, I think it just... They're trying to speak English and they don't know any English. It's just one of those things. Like when, when you go abroad, you know, they're like, Uno Biro, fuck face. <laughs> and you know, they're like, oh, it's pretty rude. It's like, no, that's just my Spanish. <laughs> that's this episode's name. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't think they were really being that rude. This this was a choosing of Jack's, I believe. No, it was me. It was you. Because I just it's fucking insane. Like I mean, yeah, if you put a, if you put a class. if you put a male's head yeah. on there, that would be a classic bodybuilder, wouldn't it? That is Chris, Chris Bumface. Yeah, just put like a man's head on there. That put is a, a mustache class. on. Yeah. <laughs> fucking there. And a mullet. And don't forget the mullet. Without, no, being too, without, being too hard, without being too harsh, John, it's a fairly masculine face as it is. Well, that was, that was harsh. Let's move on. It's not. Yeah, that's, it's we're, not gonna, we're gonna get it booze for that one. That's so you're not fucking listening to this podcast. How about that? And then um, I just wanted to give props to Rhea, really. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She's outstanding. It's just a shame that she's in a class that's just dominated by 
Sydney Gillen, really, who's nearly untouchable. Yeah, I mean, but I, yeah, I mean, I think she's fantastic. I thought she was a little bit soft for her, and that saw her drop a lot of places compared with the last time. Yeah, because the the top the top three or so were in insane condition, really. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought I love British bodybuilding, and I think she's fantastic. And then, just in case anyone wanted to know, like what these people yeah. managed to earn, when you actually think about it, placing fifth, being the fifth best bodybuilder in the whole world, um, you're pretty much earning like a kind of you know an, a Tesco's overtime wage. <laughs> well, it's thirty-five, thirty-five dollars, thirty-five grand in dollars. That's yeah. in British yeah, so, pounds. Yes. Yeah, so I did the conversion and came up with my analogy. Yeah, you right, so. went back then, counted down the hours in Tesco's rates. Yeah, and then did the overtime on top. Yeah, and that's so, what you were doing. Yeah, because you're not a, just so you know, Jack. I know you're you're, you're young, and so you know and you don't have a real job. <laughs> um, but like, but you wouldn't get paid thirty five thousand pounds in Tesco's. Just so if you, then, if you did, I, I wouldn't mind working in Tesco's. Tesco's would be a pretty good gig as well. Like they've got the pastries and shit. If you get maybe there's one with like a hot plate, there might be some chicken. <laughs> like, I'm sure you're allowed to take that shit home. We're not allowed to, but you could have like, you could have like a special like reach round deal with the manager or something. <laughs> Like, <laughs> I reckon there's room. There's room to move through. So you could turn that 25 into 35 if you work the hot plate counter. There you go. What so do you think about Hardy Edwards? Huh? Hardy. What do you think of Hardy? Yeah, like, I'd be honest. He's, uh, he's, I, a, I he's, a, nice, he's, he's a nice guy. I remember both Brandon, personally. I, uh, I Again, the, the, the photos were so shit. Um like that I've seen really like Rami wasn't what he was last year let's be honest no, from no. what I can tell he wasn't Brandon Curry is amazing looks absolutely phenomenal and then his legs just aren't three dimensional I just don't no. I, you know, yeah. like, I don't think that it helps that he's standing next to Rami either nothing obviously. helps standing next to Rami but even when he won the Olympia you know, they didn't. I mean, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? I'll go across one more. Yeah, I just, I mean, this is the photos that we're getting. I'm pretty sure that it wasn't, didn't look like that. Like you're seeing like smoothness in the quads. Like Rami's yeah. miles off there in for that picture. Yeah, and then this picture, they look all on. You've got cross striations in. in yeah, um, but you look, it shows how conditioned Hardy is compared to Rami. Yeah, right? Hardy is fucking nailed. Yeah. I, I mean, I mean, he's incredible. I think that he's still genetically not got the best shape. Hunter looked phenomenal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say he was a little watery though. Uh, yeah, I mean, I just, I mean, these aren't the pictures. I've seen more pictures. That I just picked some out. Some yeah. of them are better than others, obviously, just so we get to talk about them. And then Nick, this is a terrible picture of Nick, quality yeah. wise. Yeah, yeah. But just just to br just to bring up, did anyone think that he was worse than the the qualifier? I think he was slightly worse, but I still think it was. A, I think they should have had a comparison between Jest Hunter and Nick for fourth. Well, they didn't there. really oh, pull Hadi out in pre judging either. That's yeah. Hadi didn't get marched around enough, as far as I'm concerned. No, well, they, just, they just went third. Let's leave him. I I don't think they moved moved him enough yeah. in pre judging. Did they, did they do a call out with? Hardy, Nick, and Hunter? No. Don't think so. No, no, they, they quite, well that would be quite interesting. You start, stand there. Um, and then, yeah, two across is um, someone who has improved. There's a shit picture as well. Improved massively um, this year, but just came up a little bit short. But mm. he looks a lot better. I think he's just, like, maybe just genetically... Like lacking in chest shape. The chest it is, yeah. It throws so many shots off. Um, well, yeah, I don't. I don't yeah, his legs are definitely not a problem. Not a he's not getting any problems in the leg zones. No he way. is. He is shaking that all out. And then I couldn't find um, Rodriguez. Um, and I found like the worst picture of Akeem ever. <laughs> <laughs> um, he, he's soft enough as it is, and then you find a photo that makes him look even softer. Well, I think he's a bit. I think, I think he was a bit pissed off because he shared like nothing and there was like nothing. 
Um, yeah. And there was nothing. I couldn't find anything of William either. I couldn't fit, find anything of Bonac. Well, I probably it could was, if I looked like for. Yeah. It wasn't, if you great, zoom it wasn't in, a great show for, Will, for Bonac anyway. If you yeah, zoom in, you can see the photo is made up of three pixels. Look at his face. He's like, I don't want to be here right now. Yeah, fuck this <laughs> shit. Um, and then there was the Zoom meeting. Um, I, yeah, I don't... There was something that you said as well. It's like, it didn't seem like that, like, excited wasn't a good Olympia or whatever. And, um, I, I, yeah, I think it's just such a long weekend for everyone, like... By the end of it, even if bodybuilding is your favourite thing in the world, after like three days, even the commentators and stuff were like, oh my fucking God, I can't, like, wouldn't it be good to see them do like they used to do where they like, they could do the pose-offs and stuff? Even just to, just to award the people's champion, like, you remember when like Ronnie would like call out Jay and be like, yeah. what shot are you going to pick? And they, they'd show like scorecards. Triple H would be announcing it, wouldn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. They need to do something like that. I mean... I think all they're doing is just saving up more and more money to offer Kai Green. <laughs> it's just, well, it's I just think there's, there's not enough like 3D guys, guys who, you know, you've got like at one point there was Phil, Jay, Kai all competing at the same yeah. time. There's, I don't think any of these guys fall into that it's category. Just, they're, they're underwhelming, really. Yeah, and like I'm, as big as Rami is. Just cool. I just yeah, I can't. I know, no, Dan, you are right. I. I Brand like Rami, for how big he is, it's still underwhelming though. He yeah. Last, last year we were not saying this. We did not. No, he still, he still didn't have that. When he hits that back double or back lat spread, mm. that is nothing compared to when like Phil Heath used to hit it. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose okay. like that. It's the difference between being big and being muscular. And and Phil Heath was probably still the most muscular person. Like so that was that was Dan McNabb saying Rami's not muscular. By the way, <laughs> <laughs> but, he, but it's yeah, I do kind of get what you mean. I do but get what we you mean. felt. It was just the muscle bellies, wasn't it? That's, yeah, it, it was. It was pop. Whereas Rami's big, like like frame wise, like every way, he's massive human. Phil like clavically is not that strong, and so on, but it's just bubbles. Yeah. I mean, and then you look at Hadi as well. Like Hadi's just like hard as nails, like big, but like, yeah, it's like not, yeah, it's not, it's not the same. I don't know. I do, I do find enjoyment. I mean, I, I think overall, like for overall like quality, I was really impressed with the females right the way through the whole show. Yeah. Like, which, and I watched a lot, uh, you know, watched all the way through them. And, and then I went back and I watched the, the men's and stuff like that. And I couldn't help but being, overall actually a bit more excited about the females like i thought the depth of the quality through all the classes of that were like everyone was on yeah. point in the yeah. women's classes they're very competitive at the moment isn't it? Yeah. like they were top, top five in all of them are you could either go could either could go either way really in a lot of them yeah. they were doing some fucking weird call outs <laughs> like this one and then and then come out and then the, like there's another one and then bikini, they walk them around the stage for about thirty minutes. I mean, I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at, at bikini. Yeah, I mean, definitely. I know what I'm looking at, but I'm looking at it for the wrong reasons. <laughs> but like, Alice was watching it, and they were like doing walking, like all that they couldn't figure out. Where, really. where are you holding your phone in your left hand? Um, <laughs> I, I'm, ambi I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> I broke my right arm at a very pinnacle time of, of my childhood. Thirteen years old. Had to learn to uh, cross reference, shall we say? <laughs> and now, speed hand Mugabe! <laughs> getting everywhere. Oh, so man. that makes me very popular uh, at the urinals. Yeah. Go and Let me get that for you. At the two bro shows. <laughs> Mate, I loved some of the stuff when the bandwagon really started going, and people like on on um you, on like, unregistered accounts one? being like, "He touched my front bottom." <laughs> like and then guys were like yeah he like yeah someone bummed me like in the toilet i'm i'm, I'm ashamed and i was just like going but i got that first place darling this is like yeah i like um <laughs> people were, like really going in and people were, like oh my god that's awful like beef magazine uk which must be run by a bot as far as i can tell like, yeah yeah no all of this is definitely true <laughs> just like reposting it i was like these trolls are like finding new angles it's good <laughs> it was good like some of it was just like 
Okay, I think that's gone too far. That definitely didn't happen. Half of it was probably the UK BFF just trying yeah, to just end. End. <laughs> end them in. Who was a hangover from their UK BFF? Um, is, so, um, oh, go, on, go, on. Go, on, go on, pal. It's nice to hear you talk. Oh, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, another one from the UK as well. Uh, Alex Small uh, also could be here this year. She got, didn't she? Um, she's a mad season, man. She started, what, she got uh, to pro beginning of this year, was it? Yeah, this year she turned pro. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they won the pro show and then fucked off straight. Fuck, <laughs> man. That's fucking big. Like, I said, she's peeled as well. What a year. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, the, our, um, my link from, from this was Hollingshead. That's how oh. I tried to make a link in. And I didn't see a lot of Hollingshead because of his placing which was a, yeah. sh a shame um I'm, and then i didn't haven't seen very a lot of good pictures or anything does anyone catch i any saw of... one photo of him next to brandon and it was quite funny to be fair because fuck, yeah, from the bottom up all of that was fucking huge compared to him it yeah. was more well rounded i think i think he had a bit he had a peaking issue i think because you know, so Hollingshead, you saying Hollingshead was much bigger than Brandon? He looked, yeah, like as in, like you know, more rounded, if anything, you know, like calves from from a rear, anyway. It was a rear shot, it was, yeah, yeah. And, uh, he just looked fucking huge, man, compared to Brandon. Did anybody think that his tan was too dark? Yeah, like um, his complexion allows him to be a little bit like he's like the branch warren, he like looked better without tan than he does with tan, mm -hmm. but like. He was too dark, if anything, and I just found that he was like molding into the fucking background. I thought a lot of the white guys were. I thought Nick was too dark as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Ian looked all right. Um, but yeah, like Nick's tan was up there. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, Hollingshead looked dark, but I couldn't. I tried to find some some photos, and there, there wasn't really, a, really <sighs> enough. But the thing about Hollingshead is that he's just going to climb and chip away because that's what he fucking does. I know, but it's a shame because I think if the Hollings head from um, the shows that he won last year turned up, mm. he'd have stood a far better chance. I think he's put so much emphasis on being more balanced mm. that he's lost that freak factor. Like people were calling him Branch Warren version two and coming into this, people were all like, oh yeah, he's more, more balanced and this and that. I think if anything, he went back a little bit backwards in terms of his old days where he used to come in too flat um and I, I just think he lost that wow factor that he had do you think it could have been nerves you never know, you know like no, like he, he was so you know he was confident and strong front runner into the europa show and stuff and like it's got to be a fucking nerve-wracking thing that isn't it your first olympia's got to fry your fry you a little bit mm. but i mean i don't know yeah i mean from what i i didn't see much but what what came to my head is that his top, his upper had flattened out like it used to a little bit. Yeah, and I thought that he'd he'd that that he'd net he'd got to the point where that didn't happen. Not much, not as bad as it as it had done. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, even to get there is phenomenal, and I know that he will climb. Um, but yeah, obviously, like I think he could have he could have done better. But you know, that's the way that's the way it goes. I just guide for Holling said because I fucking love the guy. Yeah. Yeah. I love the guy, and I know that anything that we can say, he's already thought of it and planned how it isn't going to happen again. That's what I think for me. A part of that took the shine off as well, because part of me was excited to see him, you know, kicking heels with these guys. Um, and I, we can't even say he didn't get the call outs he deserved because he didn't look like he deserved yeah. the call outs based on how he looked there. But we all know what he's capable of. Um, it's just a shame, really. I think that took a bit of the shine off of me. I was more, um, I was looking at it from, you know, from a bias point of view, from a UK point of view, thinking this guy's rep in the UK. And then as soon as he, he you see him come out and he wasn't quite on the, on the money, it kind of deflated me a little bit. I was definitely probably the most excited about it because he was there. Yeah. <laughs> I was definitely because he was there. That was, uh, yeah, I was the more excited than I than I usually am. Even more so than like Nathan, when Nathan did it and that. Um yeah. 
Um, yeah, I, I, I think with James, it's different than it. We've got a, a, a bit more of a relationship with James. He's su- always supported the channel, and he's always, he's always been an approachable, a nice guy. Like Nathan, you can take him with a pinch of salt, I guess. But um, that fucker ignored ignored my request to come on the podcast. So fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Does he know who we are? Does he know who I think I am? Fucking hell, we flew through that. We've got to chat some bollocks. No, I know. We've got to talk catch up with Jack, since Jack like I think yeah, Jack. almost became Ryan Crowley version two point oh. I think you're on the third strike. He's got to be on the third strike. Yeah, I think so. Mm. I'll have to look back. It's, an, it's annoying because if if maybe if we didn't run a fourth strike, we'd have a million followers as well. <laughs> so, and now we're giving Jack fucking a free for all. We did oh. miss a trick with that though. Oh, it's making me spew though. Do you know I've seen his videos on like TikTok oh. and stuff where or on Instagram where they do one of those ones where there's a guy lifting like two kilos and then another guy laughs at him and then he comes in and goes picks up a big weight and I'm like, well no, that's what put you where you are, pal. That fucking <laughs> ego, that ego lifting and trying to show off in front of people and caring what other people think is what fucked you up. I um yeah, there was that one video and then the guy was like lifting light and then like Ryan and then he switched hands and then the guy looked like he'd just killed his mother. Like the overacting was like oh. Yeah, no, that did give me AIDS. That like yeah, I remember watching that. Again. That's given me the bad AIDS a hundred percent. So yeah. what have you been doing then, Jack? Have you become a jippo or something? Because you've like just not been home. When how many have I missed? We well, actually only end up missing one, but you were gonna miss another one, which we didn't end up doing. No, so uh, basically, I've been at shows for the past like four weeks or so, something like that. Oh, it's because you're the you're the top top grade coach now, aren't you? Top, top prep uh, coach, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah um, you've got to put the tan on with your tongue. <laughs> <laughs> rubbing rubbing the baby on in all the girls that he's prepping. All the, all the boys. But, yeah, no. <laughs> Yeah, so just being at shows, um, probably got a few more. There's only a couple of left of the season now, anyway. But so I'll be back full time. Apologies, Johnny. Are you going to the um, BNBN finals? BNBN. Probably. I don't know because um, I haven't got anyone in it, and I don't know that many people in it either. If I'm honest, so no, I'm right. going to. Uh, the UK DFBA one next weekend, which unfortunately is on the same day as the PCA finals, which is annoying. Um, yeah, so going to that one. Are you going? You're not going to any shows now, are you? Or? I'm thinking about going up to that BNBN one because you're not going to the BNBF. Yeah, no, my friends competing in the light lightweight class. You'll just be laughing at it all. Yeah, I, I, I literally might spew watching it, but. Um... I, I want to. I want to support him. He's always supported me. He was at my first ever show in two thousand and nine, um, and he's always come to my show. So I think I should return the Just favor. Fire poison darts at them with trap. <laughs> 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 yeah. Ah! It's a- just start putting like um uh, um the anabol on the, in in the bags of their sweets and stuff. Yeah, test, like test gel <laughs> instead of tap. <tan. laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah. know why, but whenever, whenever I see an enhanced bodybuilder and natural show, I, I don't know why it just seems so strange. And I just, what, you must, you must be thinking, what a joke! Like, what I've, a joke. I've, I've been, I've been to a couple, right? And I feel like, do you know that that kid at school where everyone's all whispering about him? Yeah. Like, like they're all like, look, he's not look, fucking, look he's, he's not fucking natural. Look at him, what, what's he doing? Get him out of here. <laughs> no, but that's kind, of, that's kind of like. I know it shouldn't be, but it's kind of it is. That's how it is. No. <laughs> Ribbist. Why, why would it's kind of like why would you want to be there? Why would you want to be there? Um, but obviously, in your case, it's for, to support someone. Yeah. yeah. So I get so it, it must. They're like it must be a hidden agenda. Like oh, he's in. He he must be on gear as well by association. Yeah. <laughs> he might have absorbed it through the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> we, sh- we shared a drink once he had yeah, a drink out of my bottle that's not natty because through download speed it's about 15 gigs up of roids <laughs> just from being on this fucking video link 
Well, what I don't get is, because he's doing the British Finals, he's gone down this weekend to do the lie detector test. So I said to him, well, we are. We've got two weeks now. We can get you fucking... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> get the fast stuff in. We'll be fine. Quick blast. <laughs> I didn't actually do it, just in case. Just in case yeah. somebody's watching. <laughs> you get banned from the fucking show yeah. now. <laughs> yeah. You see a podcast, you know. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. I just want to see what his name is. Anyway... <laughs> Someone would sell you out as well. There'd be some natty here, like with some sort of like natty bot, like software. Be like, mm, a natty language detected. <laughs> oh, that's it. I've got to notify the BNBN biscuit company. I'll show them, take the jam out of their wagon wheel, the cunt. Funny biscuit. Fuck you, Fuck you biscuits. Fuck you biscuits. Annoyingly, actually, there is biscuits in my house at the moment, and it's been terrible. They're these special got? biscuits that look like lumps, and um, Alice has had them in the freezer, but she got them out. They're like some magic from some biscuit company. Oh, them cookies. Not the cookie yeah. dealer ones, is it? I thought, Alice, what are them biscuits called? Fuck the biscuits! <laughs> I knew that was going. <laughs> Made it. There's them biscuits in the freezer. Buzzy B Bakery. Shout out. Shout out. Big up. Blah blah. I think they're about fifty quid though. How much were they? Fucking what? Fourteen cookies. You bought fourteen into my house. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Alice is just moving out. <laughs> 14. <laughs> All right, I've only eaten one, so I'm going to have a quick look at Alice in a minute. She's just going to be like... Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you bought one of every flavour. Okay, that's... I ate those after the grass is Okay. All right. <clears throat> anyway, they'll soon be gone. That's all I can say. I might feed them to the dogs. I mean, I, I've eaten two packs of Oreos since yesterday, so... I mean, if you've got some going spare, fat boy, over <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag dirty bulk. Yeah, my, I think my dog heard you talking about the biscuits, and now he's here. I, I'd like to lift him up and show you, but he can't anymore. <laughs> he, he might be able to lift me up. <laughs> I don't know yeah. why he's in, why why he's in there. Well, I think that's not actually a bad time to wrap this one up. Yeah, I know. I mean, Jack's rather dry as well today. Jack's drier than a nun's jock strap. Sorry, lad. Just come back from training now, so... No, I'm just get over and pretending to train for seven. Come back from training? Well, for like, you got, what, did you get it at nine o'clock this morning? Yeah. Half ten. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> Please tell <laughs> He's me that. Talking. He's definitely joking. you got to be... No. Was it, you were in the gym half ten and you just come back now? No, he can't. Guys, does that look like I'm joking? Yes. Yeah, it does. Yes, it yeah. does. Yeah. Flat Yeah. You horrible little flatbread. Do you like you got to have a niche in a market somewhere? Dan, uh, Jack's niche is I'm going to be that guy that trains for way too long. Yeah. And yeah. even though it's bad publicity, it's publicity. So I'll fucking yeah, take, no, I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah. And then you can be the guy when you're like daddy champion of the world or whatever you win when you're natural. And then um, you win like a golden lentil or something. And then, <laughs> but you're in a wheelchair like Roddy, and you can be like, yeah, it was worth it. Training seven hours a day. Oh, and I wouldn't change it for the world. I'm a champion. Look at my V neck. <laughs> anyway, it's quite hard to watch Ronnie on, getting on stage at the British. Mind the, well, he, uh, did, he didn't get on stage. Well, he. Oh, well, the Arnold. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. the British, the Arnold, um, Arnold UK. Like, cause I didn't realise how bad he is. Like, he is proper fucked. Well, he's like, had he... every vertebrae fused to the one next to it for his whole... He has... He wears his spine as an external organ. And to be fair, he still puts on a brave face as well. Like, he must be in permanent pain. And he just... Just, yeah, but do you reckon? Yeah, buddy, all the time. Do you reckon that's like an involuntary sort of? Um... What? Yeah, buddy. 
<laughs> like he doesn't even have to make the effort. He said it so many times now. It's almost just like you know, just a natural thing that comes out of the his rest mind. of his brain is being completely dissolved by opiate pain meds, and he's only left with two memories. <laughs> <laughs> one of them's yeah, buddy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. the other one. Insert in the comments below. Do you reckon he's allowed to say lightweight baby anymore? Because <laughs> nothing's light for him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah. On there. I think we should potentially. <laughs> <laughs> I would delete that one. No. Actually, I don't know whether it's because I've. It's, it's post show, but I'm offended. Are you offended? <laughs> I'm offended. Yeah, that, yeah. Was, that was dark. Uh, Alice said, we named our dog after him. Don't be mean. <laughs> 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 Ronnie's greatest achievement. I love it. I love it. Yeah. That one of our dogs is named off. And then the other dog, something completely unrelated. Who's Brilliant. that named after? Um, the, prof- the Prophet Abraham. Oh. Ronnie Coleman and Ob- Abraham Lincoln. Ab- Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> no, to be, to be fair, he's not named after anyone. It's just Abraham. My mother named him. And the reason I did that is because obviously he's quite a scary dog. And I thought if my mum was able to um, was able to name him, then um, she'd have to like him. And it worked quite well, actually. So he's not linked to anyone. And I'm, I'm kind of wondering what the rules are about mentioning the Prophet Abraham at this point. Um, <laughs> like, is, that what, is that what okay? Uh, 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 and yeah. I mean, yeah, was, I mean, with a dog of that size, you couldn't have like called him Death Machine or something. Do you know? What yeah, I mean? it would have been. Yeah, it would have. Yeah, I'm like, what do people call them stuff like that? Don't they like fucking clobber or, or like bum ripper or something? Uh, what's um, what's uh, fucking, what's his name? Stop. He's singing. Stop him singing. Samson's. What's Samson's dog called? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's called, yeah, I don't know. But it is the yeah, same right. dog as mine, because me and Samson talk about dog stuff quite often. It's exactly the same age as um, as Abe, but he's got he's not got the ears. Um, oh, what's he called? It's quite a cool name, but it's a bit too cool for me. I couldn't have a dog with a name that was that cool. It's a bit too cool for me. So Abraham's <laughs> a strong name. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, he's called something like Kano or something or something beginning with a K. I can't remember. It's gonna fuck me off now. I've got that. Well, it's Cerberus, isn't it? Sure Onyx, yeah, Cerberus. Yeah, Cerberus. Yeah, it's like a fucking dog, like. Um, yeah, it is definitely Cerberus. Yeah. Cerberus, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, see, it's too. That's too cool for me. I'm not that cool. What's that? Samson is that cool? Yeah, but like, you can't shorten that, can you? Because this sounds like you're being racist. Come, Come here, Serb. Yeah, uh, see, I didn't think of that. I thought about that, you see. Abe, easy. It was like AIDS. Did you hear him singing? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're still smiling, pal, because if I, my dog was doing that all the time, I wouldn't be fucking smiling. He's, he's only doing it because of Alice. If he does it to me, he gets put in the crate. So. He's just having a go at me. Well, you shouldn't... Are the cookies out? No, the cookies out. He just, <laughs> the thing is, Ellis thinks that he's a baby, so he acts like one and gets what he wants from her. Eventually, she'll give up, give him whatever he wants, and then you've taught him a valuable lesson about how to be a cunt. <laughs> and then, um, and then, um, and then I spent. I have to basically be really horrible to him so that he realizes that not everyone's nice. Um, to like balance it out. Mostly. Sounds. It sounds like parenting, to be fair. Yeah, it's pretty much. Yeah, I'm the asshole. She's the nice one. Yeah, yeah, no, I get that one. So, yeah, when we have kids, I'm going to definitely do it in reverse. <laughs> you hope. Otherwise, yeah, it's just going to be a yeah, fucking I'm nightmare. Give, I'm going to give the kid whatever, lighters, like fucking, oh, uh, yeah, look, I bought you a lighter, um, whatever. Here, smoke this. Ah, uh, you feel funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then, like, do you know what I mean? School, fuck school. Let's just gonna throw stuff at ducks. Put this in your glute. Yeah, and then be like... Don't waste your time with normal sugars. Take this pre-workout and then just give it <laughs> back to mum. Have fun, bye. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. To be fair, I used to do that with my goddaughter quite a lot. Actually, none of that. I don't know why. I, I hope. I hope. Not. 
I used to, I don't, don't know why I said that, but I used to tank her up on loads of sugar and then give her back to her mum. And she'd like, her mum would message me like an hour later being like, what the fuck have you done? And I was like, well, I just taught her that the only thing is toys and bowling and ice cream and Smarties. And she's been sick twice, but she still ate more. <laughs> Class. Yes. Um, oh, Carl, with four top tips. Four top tips. <laughs> There's one. <laughs> That's my cat. <laughs> Just taking the fucking banging shit as early as. I mean, my top tip is like if if um, yeah, it's just show, like a real one would be show related. It'd be post show. It doesn't matter how much you eat, you will still feel as hungry as you feel now. So actually, just fight it because it doesn't solve anything. Um, yeah, otherwise you will turn into a fucking potato. And I've done it before. I put on 18 kilos in like three days before, like absolutely. And I felt horrendous as well. Like after like a week of doing that, I didn't feel bad, I felt worse. And so, yeah, I did like, oh, reverse dieting. Have some fun, freedom and stuff. This is my fun, shut your face. <laughs> so there's my top tip. Jack, come on, hit us up. Oh. On the spot, on the spot. Oh, uh, you're coaching at the moment. There should be lots of lessons. You... Yeah, yeah, loads of lessons yeah. in your coaching. Are we actually, are we actually being like a serious, serious one? It doesn't have to be serious. I just pick one for lols. For lols. <laughs> All right, fuck this. Get, re oh. get ready a week out, and then you don't have to do any Houdini shit leading into a show. That is true. If you. If yeah, if yeah, I agree. If you're not ready a week out, you're not going to be ready. I think that's becoming a lot more popular now. People getting ready early, um, and then not having to suffer for the final week. Because if you suffer for the final week, you're going to bring a tired look to stage, um, and it's just not a great one. So, uh, if you start prep a week early, two weeks early than you planned, I think it's just going to have a better look. Um, how long do you, you how long do you prep a client for? How long? Yeah. Usually. Well, the naturals usually do it for a longer period of time. So you're looking at probably about a 20 week minimum, usually. Yeah, I mean, I'm a 20 weeker. Yeah, because you're natty. Because I'm natty, yeah. That was just what I was about to say. So if you're normally a 20 week prepper, maybe do 22. Got you. I mean, obviously, I'd do. I mean, based on Jack's logic. If you normally do two hours in a gym, you should do eight. But I mean, <laughs> so really, if I do that and do the maths on the hours, I actually only need to prep for like a week because of the because of the out the output. <laughs> I reckon I could lose ten pound a day. Well, you almost did on that bit before. Graf yeah, I did. Actually. <laughs> you know. um, my top tip is don't be a fucking victim and that's in every aspect of your life but i'm fed up of listening to people mourn about prepping for shows and that's a fucking oh, go on. At, yeah. at them johnny come on who are we talking about oh, that's fucking no, solid. no 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 just in general life though just people yeah. playing victim expecting the world to owe them a fucking favor um so no, like this, this, no one's gonna save the them but themselves Joe, yeah. really is it so yeah all right that leaves just Garen, um, who, who had yeah. actually said something today. Le leading up to the show, don't don't stress about it. Trust every process and bring your best. <laughs> Anna had already decided he was going to pull that face. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't get too offended. Cool. And on Mastermind <laughs> today, <laughs> we have Garen. Specialist <laughs> subject, the fucking obvious. And on that... But people are still stressed about it, don't they? <laughs> Yeah, if you got a show, just don't worry about it. Fuck it. <laughs> just All right. No, I fucking nailed it, mate. I, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to bring my best today, anyway. <laughs> no, I think. Yeah, what do you always say? Fair, <laughs> be fair. Yeah. If if you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, in terms yeah. of like on the plan, etc., there's nothing to stress about at all. And yeah. the only time people really should be stressing is when they're not doing what they're meant to be. Yeah. Until so, the lights go on. Just do everything you can, and there's literally nothing. Everything you're supposed to be doing, there's nothing you should be stressed about, really. But you, but you will. Nah, I don't. <laughs> you don't. Actually, you haven't done a I show in about actually... seven years. I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> you're talking about. I remember about. when I used to. You know, 
Before well, I, I used to retired. do a show when I was nine. Fuck off. Yeah, no, I'll take that back, man. Jack's contract says he has to compete next year, so oh. hold the line, caller. We'll be bringing this one back up when Bring Jack's in. three weeks out and he's... <laughs> I can't come on. I'm fucking Not dying. everything I could. I'm just so calm. <laughs> There's no pressure at all. I've only been hyping this since 95 and I wasn't even born. <laughs> <laughs> Why you felt, Gibbons? I gotta go because I got fucking fifty minute turnaround before I'm on some other podcast that's threatening to poach you for you boring fucks. Oh, it's like that, is there? I'm true to my virgins. Who, who, who is it without plugging them? It's all of them, innit? The boys from his class at the Arnolds are all going together on the oh, on the you're on, fucking fingering session. Oh, yeah, I'm just gonna fucking just give <laughs> he's on a he's on Brook Back Mountain podcast today. Yeah. I look forward to it, Dan. I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Just make sure you use a condom. <laughs> Never. Because what I'm, give, you... what I'm putting in the mix it can, is no way any better than what they are. And yeah. I'm not, you know, I want to share. Yeah. James caring, Dan. I like it. Exactly. Peace out, y'all. <laughs> Have a good week.